In Revenge of the Sith, the death of Padme is what pushed Anakin into the depths of darkness and the dark side for what seemed like eternity until Luke's suffering finally broke him free. This video will outline just exactly what happened to Padme as the movies and books don't explain it really well for us other than one book, which I'll refer to in this video. The first point, let's start off with Anakin choking her. This is no joke, and it's the first time after the Clone Wars where we see Anakin choke someone. Vader's force choke was feared among all, and it was literally a death sentence. One thing that passes most people's attention, possibly due to the CGI, is of her hitting her head on the stone floor. So hard that it bounces quite a bit and lands her unconscious. When you're knocked out, it's not really a good sign. We don't see the droids scanning her brain at all, and seeing as they don't know what Anakin did to her, to our knowledge, they just examine her for giving birth. The only answer that we actually have can be confirmed in the novel, Coruscant Nights 2, Street of Shadows. There were conflicting reports, of course, but all the autopsy reports were in agreement on two things, that she had been strangled and that the child had died with her. But exactly how the former had been accomplished, no one was quite sure. The evidence of strangulation had been there and obvious. The fractured hyoid bone, damage to the larynx, and compression of the trachea were all clear indications of fatal throttling. But there was no sign of bruising on her neck, no scratches or signs of congestion, no indication of exterior trauma at all. Her throat had been pristine. It was as if she had somehow been choked to death without physical contact. Now, as we know, the medical droids delivered the twins and stated that there was nothing wrong with her. This is pure evidence that Palpatine tampered with the autopsy report and had it written so that if Vader ever read it, he would see that he was indeed the one who killed her. <laughs> Sidious just gets more and more evil, doesn't he? Now, to put some credibility behind someone dying from heartbreak, we can take the sad events of Carrie Fisher's mother's death, Debbie Reynolds who died from a stroke one day after Princess Leia's death. I mean, if that isn't enough of a real-life piece of evidence that one can truly die from immense heartbreak and stress, I don't know what is. Padme was a young, healthy woman, however, so her death, I feel, was kinda rushed. Now, regarding the fan theory that Palpatine was drawing on her life force as Anakin was being put together as Vader is also another possibility. George does like to leave many things to interpretation, and this could be one of them. The reasons behind this are because as we see Padme dying and gasping for her last breaths, we constantly switch back to Anakin being put together and screaming in pain. With her exhale of her last breath, we see the inhale of Darth Vader. The birth of the twins fit with the birth of their now masked father, and it all fits together so poetically. I do believe if they wanted to convey this more properly, all we needed was a scene or two of Sidious closing his eyes and concentrating on the Force, then switching back to Padme, losing her vitals. So what do you think of the cause of death here? Do you accept the Legends Coruscant Knights novel? Do you think Palpatine did it? Let me know below. I hope you're all having an awesome day, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, wherever you are watching this in the galaxy. Until the next episode of Star Wars Theory, remember, the Force will be with you. Always. Now, fulfill your destiny. It's ironic. You could save others from death, but not himself.